where the sun shines almost all year round and where the most trendy mobile and network technologies are discussed. Do you already know what event we are talking about? Watch this video to understand how close we are to 6G, what can be seen in the new Xiaomi glasses and when our reality will become unlimited. All this is a recap of my trip to Barcelona for MWC 2023. For those who don't know, MWC in Barcelona, or Mobile World Congress, is an annual international exhibition dedicated to the mobile industry that takes place in Barcelona, Spain. It's one of the most significant and major events in the mobile technology industry. The event brings together more than 100,000 people from more than 200 countries, including representatives of telecommunication companies, developers, gadget manufacturers, investors, journalists, and experts in the field of mobile technology. During four days, participants can visit many exhibition stands, discussion panels, masterclasses, presentations of new products and technologies, as well as meeting colleagues and exchanging experience. MWC Barcelona usually showcases the latest technologies and innovations in the field of mobile devices, smartphones, communication networks, and other technologies. The event also hosts important announcements and presentations from major manufacturers such as Samsung, Huawei, Xiaomi, Sony, LG, and others. This year, the exhibition presented five key topics related to 5G, 6G, immersive technologies, and fintech. 5G acceleration, Reality Plus, OpenNet, fintech, digital everything. The discussions of 5G acceleration were about whether we are ready for the adoption of 6G, which will be a quantum leap into the future, as well as how well 5G works and what can be done to improve it. The topic of Reality Plus was about the so-called unlimited reality, the intersection of 3D computing, AI, Web3 and 5G, which allows you to create an imperceptible bridge between the real and digital world. One of the points of discussion at the exhibition just sounded like from metaverse to matterverse. How to do it right? Well, of course, the debate about the thinking abilities of AI in this direction has not faded away, because it is still not known how much these technologies will be able to get closer to natural human intelligence, if they can do it at all in the near future. At OpenNet, in addition to traditional questions on the development of networks, the idea of building networks ready for the metaverse was voiced. That is, Web3 technologies and the metaspace go beyond their paradigm and become the subject of hot discussions on mass adoption, just like AI. Similar thoughts were heard in the fintech section close to our platinum. NFTs, the one hit wonder? Is the future of everything decentralized? Widespread adoption of digital currencies, etc. Finally, Digital Everything participants discussed how to enable the production of digital reality in the industrial metaverse, how to accelerate digital transformation with the help of 5G, and how to empower people in transportation. Notice how many Web3 talking points were made during MWC 2023. If this is not an indicator of universal acceptance, then I do not know what can be said about it. To be honest, it was difficult to find stands dedicated to Web3 technologies, crypto and NFT at the exhibition, but I succeeded. Most of all, in the section there were stands from DT1, the largest provider of mobile solutions in 160 countries. The Web3 projects Gutsu and Hologuard caught my attention. Gutsu is helping to grow the music industry through the sale of digital goods in the form of NFTs, and Hologuard is a metaverse focusing on blockchain-based funding in culture, arts, entertainment, and NFTs. I personally communicated with very interesting projects. Bricken, 
talked about how they plan to spread tokenization and further improve the decentralized fundraising model. The Belgian exchange bid for you shared its experience in working on AML and the fight against terrorist financing. They are glad that they managed to reach the European level of work, which means that plans are ahead to expand the borders. It was especially interesting to learn how the developer of esports games on the blockchain LitLab Games sees the future of the industry and plans to hold the World Championship in Q2 2023 and develop the NFT division. Key Ring also shared an important point of view on the digitization of all physical keys and why it's actually reliable and secure. All the projects that have kindly shared their goals and urgent tasks with me are already living in the future and doing everything to bring it closer to users around the world. Of course, the most amazing section of the exhibition was AI. Now it's not longer a distant future, but our everyday life. While users enjoy the sensational success of GPT-4, MWC plans to apply the technology to a wide variety of areas of human activity. SK Telecom, for example, said they are becoming an AI company, which means the multilateral development of technologies in this area. At MWC, they showcased Vision AI an artificial intelligence technology that has been applied to various fields including robots, security, media, and healthcare. They also demonstrated Sapion, a semiconductor AI that acts as the brain of AI services, and show Litmus, a location-based AI service that can be used in smart city and transportation areas in action. And it became very clear to me that in the coming years, our lives will change thanks to such opportunities. What about the most important achievements of the MWC? About everything in order. Lenovo showed an unusual novelty, a stretchable laptop. With the Switch, the Lenovo ThinkBook screen is enlarged by a few inches, making the laptop look more like a tablet with a keyboard. The stretching process takes 10 seconds. It looks quite unusual, although the developers did not disclose when the new product will go on sale and how much it will cost. For those who like to hang out in a smartphone for hours, it seems that the saving solution has also appeared. The OnePlus 11 concept model has been upgraded with a liquid cooling system, which also influenced the unusual design of the smartphone. Thanks to cooling, the temperature of the device will decrease and this will further reduce the charging time. In general, play on your smartphone as much as you like. This year, many phone models from Honor and Xiaomi came out. The latter also introduced the third version of augmented reality glasses with AI. Such glasses can be used, for example, for work. Through them, several windows with programs are projected onto a regular table, which can be moved or resized. Another option is computer games, where virtual elements will be displayed in the real world. Personally, I was also interested in robotic dogs and cooking robots, as well as motion control systems at the exhibition. Exhibitors demonstrated using the example of drums how one person can move a part of the body and transmit these impulses to another so that he can repeat the movements. Technology seems fantastic and it already exists today. So, 6G is just around the corner. In Xiaomi AR glasses you can see your own work and unlimited metaverses and their materialization is almost the main topic in the world of technology this year. What else awaits us in the future? Platinum Fund was with you. Bye!